All right, so this is the uh, start of the third video, I guess. Um, it's now Saturday, midday, I guess. I uh, did some stuff this morning, so I found myself this morning. So I got some spare time, thought I'd come out and uh, kind of start playing with some stuff and, yeah, make a game plan, I guess. So um, obviously the door handles are still in. I'll pull them out so I can unwrap them and, uh, yeah, just do a bit more uh, cleaning. I don't know if you can kind of hear that, but... There's uh, definitely in need of a, a clay bar, but otherwise it's, it's pretty clean actually. Uh, this morning I'm just, or this afternoon I'm just testing out. I have to do the door jams, and I, I'm trying to decide whether I do them in black or do them in, uh, or in the, the wrap color, I guess. So uh, um, it's it's kind of a tough one in the sense that um, the black. It's going to be more future proof so if i decide to rewrap this in two years time the black in the door jams is probably still going to stay the problem is then when you unwrap it like when you open the doors i should say it's then black so it's kind of yeah catch 22 i guess um the black itself if i was to use it is avery dennison uh just gloss black so it it also is prone to scratching and staining so yeah, it's kind of one of those things. Um, I'll show you what I've done as as the experiment anyway, and uh, uh, I mean, you guys are going to soon find out anyway what I do when uh, it's obviously going to be in black and white, so you can't see the wrap color. But um, already, I think I'm going to go wrap color. I, I think it has to. Um, the black just stands out way too much. When the doors are closed, you can't even see, but. Uh, yeah, from uh, from when the doors are open, it's it's pretty evident. So I'll uh, I'll show you what I've done so far, and uh, and we'll go from there. So this is the uh, wrap color. Uh, it's obviously not. It's it's grey, so you guys can't see that. But um, just two little patches. I mean, it doesn't really matter what they look like at that stage because uh, they're not staying like that. But it was just an experiment, really. So uh, this is obviously what it looked like on the outside, and when you open the door. We then got the wrap color again and the black. It's uh, it's one of those things. I'm just, it's a tough call, and and I definitely think um, I'm leaning towards the wrap color. Um, it's just yeah, as much as I'd like the black for for future proofing, I think it uh, I think in, in in wrap color, it's it's going to look a hell of a lot better. All right, so uh, it's Sunday morning. Uh, kind of, yeah, cracked into the wagon yesterday. As you can see, whole front end's now off. Um, front guard liners are out, so I can clean those up and, and get them ready. The bonnet, I don't know if you can really tell in video, but it's um, it's not very shiny, it's not very glossy. Uh, that's because there's basically no, uh, well, there's no clear coat left on it. I mean, there is, it's just sanded back, but... Um, there's a few little marks and stuff, especially down around there that uh, are the greatest where the clear had failed and I, I tried to uh, wet sand repair it, which uh, yeah, just didn't work. And in the end it has to be re-cleared, but uh, wrapping over it, so it doesn't really matter and, uh, and you can't really see it underneath the wrap. So uh, it works out pretty well. Um, there's a few little bits that need a bit of a touch up, so I might you know throw a little bit of uh, just a uh, high fill primer on there and sand them back and, and get it looking the, as, as flat as I can underneath the wrap. Uh, yesterday afternoon I experimented uh, with the new wrap uh, doing the door jams. Uh, the correct process is to remove the doors. It's plain and simple. Remove the doors, do it all in one big sheet and uh, it's, it's the proper way to do it. Unfortunately, I just, I, I don't have the, the means to take the doors off at home so uh, it's it's one of those things I'm going to do my best around it. Um, it does take a long time to, to do. Uh, I've done the front um, front passenger door frame essentially, uh, and it's actually looking pretty good. Uh, but it took a good probably you know, two hours just to do that. Whereas the bonnet, for instance, will <clears throat> take me uh, ten minutes max. So it's one of those things where I'm kind of I'm still going to do it. I just think I'm going to put that on the back burner for the rest of this week and try and knock out as much of the other stuff as I can. And if I have time, I'll get that done before Saturday. If I don't, that's okay. I can do it next week. Um, but the priority is obviously the outside of the car. 
um, trying to get it looking as best it can. Uh, the guard liners, I'll, uh, I'll sort out. Um, get them all cleaned up and, uh, and ready to go. And basically, yeah, front and rear bumpers have to be done. Um, bonnet, doors, rear quarters. Uh, door handles are going to be the big one, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to basically start start wrapping today and knock it out as best I can. Wow! Right. Uh, I tried to do a wet sand repair, and uh, yeah, it just didn't work. So the other option was to uh, yeah start respraying components, and I was just you know really didn't want to go through that at the time. So kind of did my best and. Yeah, it's, it's not terrible. Um, and you can't really see any of this stuff when the wrap's under it, but there's enough that you can. So I'm just going to take these little areas off. I mean, I know you probably don't have to take them off or shouldn't take them off, but I figure why not? It saves a bit of sanding that way. They're the affected portions, so uh, yeah, it's pretty bad there and there. There's a couple of little spots there, so uh, just give a bit of a scuff up. And uh, yeah, I just got a high build 1k primer, can spray that on and uh, sand it down how I need to. And then, as long as it's flat, I'll give it a wet sand as well. But as long as it's flat, you won't even be able to see it under the wrap. I mean, there's stone chips and stuff all over just from being a bonnet, like, they cop it, especially going to places like Power Cruise, you're always going to have rocks and debris. Taking the front bar off, I was still finding rubber in there, so, you know, these things happen. I'm not too concerned. And, you know, VE bonnets aren't that hard to find, and they're the same across all the models, so, you know, I'm not too concerned if I end up having to replace a bonnet. And re-wrapping re the bonnet's not hard at all, so yeah, I'm not too worried to be honest. Alright, so it's scuffed up and I'll just give it a quick wipe over with some wax and grease remover and uh, we'll start spraying. So I mean, it, it looks completely terrible here right now, but nothing that a bit of uh, sanding can't fix. So I've got some, uh, some 400, 600 and 800. Oh, yeah, and uh, just go over these sections and knock them down. Essentially, all I was trying to do is just build up that level that's disappeared and get it up to the same level as the rest of the uh, paint around it. So, again, dodgy repair, I know, but is what it is. It's the things you do to get it looking good. So, just going to go through and start sanding, and uh, yeah, we'll knock it down and, and see what we look like at the end. Alright, so um, basically just primed it with that high build primer and uh, sanded it flat so it's nice and smooth now and you can't feel it at all. If you can't feel it, it's not going to appear in the wrap. Um, still needs to give the rest of the bonnet a uh, clay bar and, and get that all sorted and any little contaminants that are left on that, but you know, it's, it's come up pretty good. Uh, my paint and body mates are all going to be cringing right now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'll give it the rest of the, the bonnet a uh, a wipe down and, and a clay bar and we're uh, pretty much ready to start wrapping so uh yeah i'll, I'll probably put up a time lapse of wrapping it because uh it takes a couple of minutes to get it done but it should be pretty good i think 
All right, so I keep calling it a clay bar, I know, but I'm using a nano scrub glide for this, so this is a mother's version. Um, just as a lube, I'm just using soap and water. You can use quick detailer, pretty much anything you like, but I just like using soap and water for this. And um, you can kind of hear how rough that is. And then once you've clay barred it, it's just taking those contaminants and any any small microscopic residue that might be left over from the other wrap. So uh, basically you go through and do this on all the panels and it'll be uh, ready for wrapping. Okay, yeah, so Monday morning, uh, fortunately I didn't film uh, most of yesterday afternoon, it just, you kind of get into a zone and it got so hot yesterday, so it's uh, going to be another hot one today, it's going to get towards 40 degrees today, so uh, I'm probably going to <clears throat> knock out as much as I can this morning before it gets too warm and then I'll have to go inside and start wrapping some stuff in the air conditioning, I will. Yes, afternoon, <clears throat> continue pulling the car apart. As you can see, there's there's nothing left on the front end of the car. Um, got the bonnet wrap, so it looks really, really good. I really love the colour, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, pull the front bumper off uh, the other day. I uh, got both front guards off, both side skirts off. When I pulled the side skirt off the, uh, the driver's side, a uh, spark plug fell out. So it's definitely not one of my spark plugs. It's an AC Delco. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's for this car, but it's definitely not one of mine because I've put NGKs in this ever since I've had it. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, it was quite puzzling, but is what it is. Uh, giving the front end a bit of a clean up while, the, while everything's off. So uh, I just got a racer and some rags and just cleaning everything off and making it look as good as it can. Uh, and then, yeah, I can basically start to, um, start to wrap and, and start putting the car back together, I guess. Uh, the plan is that I'm just going to spend the rest of the week getting as much of the car done as I can. That way on Saturday, we can spend time kind of reassembling, putting trims back together, that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll probably end up just wrapping the bigger panels. And then can ceramic coat it. So uh, yesterday, my girlfriend Christy, she came over and gave me a hand. Uh, and <clears throat> I got her to ceramic coat the bonnet so that she knows uh, what it's like and how to do it and using um, a halo for that and it's it's super easy, super forgiving and uh, it's, it's come out really, really nice. Uh, top that with bead maker just to give it that extra layer of protection and uh, it's super glossy, super slick. It's going to make uh, washing really nice but for the most part it's, um, it's just going to help protect it I guess. So. That's the plan for this week. Uh, I'm just gonna pump through as much as I can and I'll keep you guys updated as I go through. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's gonna be a big week and hopefully the wind stays away and it doesn't get too hot, but I think it's gonna be pretty bad. So it is what it is. All right, so it's uh, Tuesday, midday, kind of early afternoon. Um, big day yesterday that heat just destroyed me. I think I actually ended up with heat stroke or something because I feel shocking today. It's like I've been hit by a bus. So not a lot's actually got done this morning. Um, did a trip to Bunnings, pick up a couple of bits. Needed some uh, some new fasteners for uh, the front bumper and the inner guards because I'd lost the old ones. So I just went and bought some new ones and some fender washers. Um, yeah, basically just kind of keep moving along and uh, and see where I can get to. Um, front end's looking pretty good. Uh, side skirts are probably going to be next, I think, and uh, then all I've really got left is the uh, rear bumper and the sides and the tailgate, which are all pretty simple stuff. Um, as I said, it's Tuesday. I've got till Saturday to 
get as much of the difficult stuff done as I can because uh, on Saturday I'm going to have help so I can do all the big panels a lot easier so uh, like I said Hinchy will help me out with that and i uh, got a couple of mates that are going to be helping me out with that kind of stuff and that'll make Saturday pretty easy but yeah I just I feel shocking so uh, I kind of been hiding out in the aircon today it's not that warm today but still it's, it's helping and uh, probably just going to edit this video and, and get this one up probably later tonight um, and uh, if I get a chance to do some wrapping I'll do some if not I'll probably just leave it for tomorrow but yeah hopefully I feel better by then but I feel pretty rubbish today so it is what it is um, yeah so I'll uh, guess I'll just use this as a wrap up opportunity and wrap up this video um, I had a quick look through all the footage that I had recorded and it's probably not the most riveting stuff but uh it's progress nonetheless. Um, bonnet's come up looking pretty good, so you would have seen in this video there was uh, some repairs done, and yeah, they look pretty good, so you can't even really tell. And yesterday, I basically just spent most of the time on the front quarters getting them sorted, getting them ready, and they took a lot more work, which uh, I have recorded, and you'll see those next week when I uh, upload that video, but that was a lot of work to get those right, so. Yeah, that sucks, but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably wrap this video up now and uh, get this one ready for upload. And uh, if I come out later this afternoon, I'll make sure to record anything I do, and uh, it'll be in the next video. All right, cool. Thanks, guys.